hate to say it to ya, hate to break it to ya, but we ain't gon' make it cause this just ain't no true love. Uh -huh. Yeah, we started out as friends, uh -huh. parked out in my bins, yeah. and on my windows 10, so we start to get it in. Thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of The Les Factor, season three. To my right, I have Kenya, who is our behavioral analysis analyst. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, y'all should know what she is about it. Y'all know. Next, we have Brandy Kane. She is, if you listen to music on our intro, she does our intro music, and she is an MC and an LA legend. We have Stacy, my business partner. We also have Aisha, owner of Ninth Chapter Barbershop LA over in the Fairfax District. Check her out. She does great cuts. Next, we have Savannah. She is our model actress, and we just love her all the way around. And then <laughs> lastly, but, but most importantly, we have the person who was hosting this this week. So this week, we're attending at Stuzo Clothing Company. If you like any of the things that she is wearing, they sell them online. S-T-U-Z-O clothing.com. So that is Uzo, and that is, this is her shop. And of course, as always, I'm fucking this up, but sorry. Keep it going. As, well, as always, I'm your host, Erin. You can catch me at incognito80 on Instagram. All right. So since we talk about lesbians all day, <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I'm not assuming this question, but maybe your friend did. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mine is simple because I'm not one of our followers. So right. can you tell if somebody's gay? Is gay dar real? Because I know that when I go around, I'm like, oh, she gay. Oh, that's a lesbian. Mm -hmm. My girl would be like, her, like, why do you care? I'm like, she got the equal sex sticker. Like, I can't help it. I don't know. Like, I'm always looking for other gay people. Like, I want to be, I want to be like the, I want to be the majority. So I'm always looking for them. Can you tell when people are gay, Uzo? I really suck at that. I, uh, there's a friend of ours who actually hooked up with another friend of ours who I was just like, I was, I, my wife was like, oh, it's going to happen. I was like, yeah, not, I don't really see it. She will never do it. And then it happened. So I am so off. I really so your gay is broken. It's completely. It was never. <laughs> never it was never. Uh, I was never. It never started. Yeah, to oh. begin with. So I'm working on it though. So can you tell when a woman is gay, Savannah? You know what I feel is so weird is that guys, I can tell like that, but females, I notice like I can't tell when they tell me that they're gay. I'm like, I would have never suspected that, but guys are so much easier for me. Yeah, Aisha. Hey, um, everybody is gay until proven straight. I, mean, <laughs> yes. I don't really. Yes, I love it. You know, you can just be so fixated on the flags and this and that, and then the one person you'd be thinking is, you know, gay as a bird, as straight right. as an arrow, and, you know, no. So, everybody's gay. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Yes. People be Prove yes. to me that yes. you are a breeder. Yes. Even my grandmother <laughs> says that she thinks all women are a little bisexual. A little bit, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, but real life, in the spectrum of sexuality, it's like there's only a few people that are really bisexual, a few people that are really gay, really straight. Everybody else is kind of floating Freaky or here or there, whatever. a little bit more right. here, but yeah. Everybody's queer until proven straight for sure. Awesome. Stacy, can you tell if a woman is a lesbian? No. Um, <laughs> unless it's obvious, you know, tomboy slash stud, cool. whatever. Well, it's been uh, it's been that way for me. But as far as like feminine women, no, I can't really tell all the time unless they're giving you the eye or something like that. <laughs> One the of the eye. gay signs. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy, can you tell me when it's gay? Pretty much agree with Stacy. I mean, I think if you start talking to somebody, particularly a you know, feminine person who is <laughs> inconspicuous with their sexuality where you just see a lady you know not a butch or something like that with that of course it's obvious it's like it's a flaming guy mm -hmm. you just know off top but you know there's some signs you know that you can tell in conversation without people saying it i think you know people definitely throw out little subtle subtle hints hints you know can you, can I, you, I could pick up on it okay i'm pretty good I'm, i would say my gator are 90 percent accurate so, yeah, I could tell within talking with somebody for about five minutes. But I think that sucks because it's part of my job to read people. So I just tend to pick up on it. So I'll say, oh, she's bi-curious. Oh, no, she's definitely bi. Oh, no, she's a lesbian. She sh yeah, she just don't know it. Um, I'm pretty good at actually tell people you before they know. Uh -huh. A lot of my friends, I told them before they knew they were gay that they mm -hmm. were gay. I think same thing for yeah. me. I have uh, a couple a friend who she told me I was like, "Oh, you're gay. Do you have a girlfriend?" She was like, "I'm not gay." Well, <laughs> and literally, I was like, "Oh, huh? What?" And then I literally went home. I was like, in high school, I told my mom. I said, "You know such and such. Like, you know, can you believe she's not gay?" My mom said, "Has she looked in the mirror?" <laughs> right. Honestly, you know, I mean, my mom's been on the scene too, so she knows some things. Moms know. You know, but I mean, yeah, I'm like with the obvious, you know, I know, but then there'll be other things. Like, I find feminine women are harder, you know, but I've had them, like, if I'm in a straight club, they'll walk up and be like, hey, you know, can I get you a drink? I'm like, 
<laughs> okay, thank you. You know, <laughs> but you know, feminine women, I don't know. They're like a mystery. I have no we clue. We aggressive these days. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Good. We appreciate that because some of us get tired of that yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm not trying to walk up to everybody all the time. Walk up to me sometimes. Do the work. So you were talking earlier about flags. So how old do you feel is too old to wear rainbows? Our viewer, <laughs> think, our viewer thinks that they're tacky. Sorry, I spent <laughs> Asia? Too old? I don't know. It's been so long. Uh, it, you know, it depends. Are we at gay pride? You know, if you're walking down the street with a fucking cheesy ass fedora on that's a rainbow, you know, get the fuck out of here. Uh, if you're at pride and you want to wear something, who cares? But how old? Uh, puberty? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So 13? Yeah, you know, gay flags are cheesy. But so gay flags. It's cheesy for sure. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm for the symbolism, I feel it, but yeah. don't, mm, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Birth. <laughs> it's done, it's done. I was way it's too done. late. I concur. Birth. Okay, Uzo. Um, I don't know. I think you should wear it for the rest of your life. I think it's something that, you know, it's never too, you know, because some people come out really late. You know, some people are late bloomers. So, you know, whenever you, if you feel like wearing it out, you wear it for that day, whatever you feel like what you're dressing like. I, I don't think it's ever too too late. I think any time is good as any. You are so kumbaya. I I just, know. Like, <laughs> that's true. Somebody yeah, came that's in that's here true. with a rainbow cat suit. No. You'd be like, bitch, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, everyone is beautiful. Oh, it's going to be old. Could you imagine a rainbow cat suit? That yes. Totally I have awesome. to imagine you know, it. I, like, it can't can pop up like that. I mean, listen, of course, you know, there's certain things that are taboo, but at the same time, I think wear your pride, you know? Whatever yeah. you feel so like is it about the pride or is it about the rainbow flag? Well, the is, it's is, about it right. yeah, it's it's right. it's symbolism. So then, do you not? You cannot wear the flag and still feel the pride, then, right? No, you can. But you're trying to let everybody else. But, know. but okay. yeah, you can. Okay. But it's like if you feel like being really, if you feel Just the pride open. that day, and you're like, I'm gonna wear it. Why not? Okay. You know, we need to be the majority. I mean, like she said, everyone's gay. You know, so <laughs> go ahead and celebrate. How old can you? Mm, I would say that I would put a contingency about six months to a year after you come out the closet. You have the right to wear the ring. Six months to a year after you're coming out date. So make note of that. Because it expires when you are. But you know, you come out, you get all excited. You go to the gay club. You got the rainbow rainbow Nikes for pride. You got a No, we don't have the rainbow pride. I think that's like no Unless it's pride or something like that. Like I think it's pride. You got one more day. Live it up. Six months so you have to Brandy, how old? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. I, I just can say that I've never, I never been into it personally. Because for me, I think it's just obvious. I don't got to rock a rainbow for you to know, you know. And now we got other things like the no hate sign. So right. you know, you can wear that instead. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a controversy over gay people claiming the rainbow as their own. So, you know, we have to share the rainbow. Do you yeah, my grandma hates Skittles. That. That She's like, Skittles. my grandma's like, I want to be happy too. Y'all can't be taking gay. It means happy. I'm like, no, this is gay now. We have taken it over. Yeah, it's ours. Over. Yeah, that's She's, she's not having it. Like you say, y'all gonna, y'all gonna scare a lot of people saying that, uh, that, that, that gay people... That we got to be the majority. You're going to get some. Uh, yeah, some we are majority. Oh, for sure. <laughs> that's true. That's okay. Yeah. They hate everything. They hate my sex. They hate my background. Hate. <laughs> they don't like my people. <laughs> 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 they hate everything because they're women. They have nothing else to do. But hey, yeah. Stacey? I would say teenage to maybe early 20s. I mean, we had, everybody has, you know, their, their own process. We had that time, so we should allow those youngsters coming in to have that time and then just be over it. But people can be really obnoxious. Mm-hmm. Well, what, what, just something be so, with, a, with a rainbow, like... Because with, they just overdo it. I mean, the rainbow sticker on the car, the rainbow <laughs> teddy bear on the windshield. <laughs> what you know, know, you know, I'm sorry, that like you have a rainbow ago. leg like, in your car? Like, really? Yeah, but it's very, it's like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lay. It's, it's it's a, a necklace. necklace. It's like a beach it's boy done. necklace made of like rocks. But I've I've had it there for so long, and it's, it's not a so it belongs to your car, right? It's not. <laughs> not <laughs> no, I just said it's not like I have a bumper sticker, but you could have a necklace. Dude, That's dude. not like. Oh my God. I drive like the Obama mobile. Okay, it's a big black Chevy Suburban. That's very minuscule compared. Like you yeah. barely even see that. Okay, <laughs> I look for it when I'm looking for your car. I'm looking for it. Right, I'm just saying. Explanation. Hang on. 
<laughs> no, I could. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think it's fucking corny though. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, when exactly. I first exactly. when I first I came like out, I was so happy. Like I was uh-huh. in college and I had found like a gay shop. I had to drive like an hour to get to that motherfucker. I bought every it. rainbow. I had rainbow suspenders, yeah. rainbow t-shirt. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, all of y'all, right. right? So I was wearing that shit. And even to this day, like I don't wear a rainbow when I go to Pride. Though I get shirts made. They say like so homo or whatever. <laughs> this is I hate. I hate. The, I hate the word no homo. People be like, oh, I love you. No homo. What the yeah, fuck yeah, does that mean? Yeah, that's a whole different. It's like, bitch, you gay. I'm gay. How is it no homo? By definition. Yeah. So like I still, no gay shit. Like, so from Pride, I still wear gay shit. It's not a rainbow though. You know, I try to you know get some personalized shit. So so homo was last year. Literally, it was like this big. Just, just in case you didn't know it, as I'm walking through Pride, and I'm getting so homo. But it is what it is. I would wear a vagina, but I think that's just a little vulgar. Vagina's enough. A big ass vagina on your shirt is a little vulgar. It doesn't it's not what the vagina is doing. Vulgar. It doesn't have to be doing anything. It'd be sitting there. It's still vulgar. If it's on my fucking vagina, you know. <laughs> the vagina's reading a book, or. No. <laughs> if the vagina's reading a book, it's not doing its motherfucking job. Okay. So, so, right. Can we go on the next <laughs> like, question? That can go too many ways. So, this person said, I'm dating a touch me not fit. What's the oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Here we go with the bullet right. points. It said, my girlfriend has issues with intimacy, intimacy and I don't know what to do. Okay. So, like, what would you do if you were, could you touch date me a touch-me-not femme? What do the femmes that are touch-me-nots not want you to touch? Like, every Their vagina, right? probably. They like, no head, head, talking no about head. vagina t-shirts. They want to, like, make out? I guess they, maybe they, they want to please you, but they don't want you to please them. Right. Oh. Like a pillow like princess, a, almost. The reverse. But the reverse. The reverse. Because here's the thing. Oh, right, right, right. When you come, it makes it real. You know what I mean? Like, like when yes. you come, it makes it real. Yeah, no, real life. Like, uh, you know, maybe you're doing something to somebody, you projecting your energy onto them. It's like uh, if you're watching porn and it's something you don't want nobody to know you're watching, when you come, you're like, I right, something's wrong with me. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. You know, it's like, ugh. It's too freaking though. That's my theory. I don't know. I've never heard of Touch Me Not Film or whatever. Savannah, so, what was the question? Could you date a Touch Me Not Film? Somebody's girlfriend has intimacy issues and doesn't like to no, really be touched down there. No, that... A whole clarification, weird. touch me not, does not mean Savannah. I need to touch. That does not sound right. Could you date a touch me not film? Not are no, you on? No, no. You I don't even not, date films No, because anyway. I, want, if I'm, I want to be intimate with you. I want to touch you. I want to be able to have the full effect of being in a relationship. Then what's the point? But where do you think that comes from, though? I think that comes from maybe like something in the past, like whatever. Sometimes people go through shit and rape or whatever else. I think that's like their own personal thing. But no, me, I couldn't do that. Who's that? Uh, actually, uh, I I couldn't date someone like that because it's just, you know, I actually had a friend who was like, oh, I like girls, but she always, like, never liked a woman to touch her or, or do anything like that. So I found it insulting, which I was like, then you're not gay. But then mm-hmm. she's like, I'm gay, I'm gay. It's like, it's not really like a fad. It's, it's not like something cool right. to say. And I was like, you know, I, I don't know how you can not want to kiss a woman, you know, that you're attracted to or have them want to touch you and, exactly. and do all these things. I just don't understand it. So for me, I just, I found it really insulting for my people and me, you know? So I was like, <laughs> then you're not gay, but I just, I don't understand it. So I but could never you, date someone who was I like, just don't like, touch me. Where does that come from? I, I like, don't, what is yeah. the, the common, like the denominator? Like, where does that, do, I mean, is the theory that they don't want to be touched because what? It's well, just well, something that has happened with Yeah, I had a girlfriend who like was like that, no lie. She was she, raped or molested so or So what did they say? Yeah. What did, what was that? They, I just yeah. don't like to be touched because of that. Yeah. Right, it was well, something yeah, that my friend didn't say that. She was like, oh, I just, just didn't do that. But she wouldn't say, oh, because of something happened or whatever. She was like, I like girls, I like to do this, but I just don't want them to do, you know, and I don't want to cuddle at the end, you know, I, don't, I want them to go. And she's like, you're asexual. But for me, it's like, if I, can, if I can let you do that shit to me, yeah, why exactly. can't you, why can't I get the same respect? I let you do it to me, and then it becomes okay, like Okay, no, a, that's something different. Because yeah. there are things that I will do to my partner, that my partner cannot do. I mean, if you're not a no-touch me type It's not. It's not about a no-touch. There are just certain things that I'm going to do to my partner, my partner cannot do to me. Okay, oh, that like, I understand. What? Okay, but I was gonna say <laughs> you need to be specific though. Like, what? yeah, but at least you're doing some. Like, I don't like being strapped. Yes, so yes, I will strap okay. my partner, but my partner can't okay. strap me. That's, that's, okay. that's I'm not okay. not doing it. That's that's okay. Okay. And I've tried. I'm like, no, yeah. I can't do it. Well, that's a different. Yeah. I mean, we're still question. in the thick of it though. At that point, <laughs> but no, I've had a girlfriend, and she just you know some things happened in her childhood, and she didn't like head. I was like. Can you wow. that's see that's taking it? it that's another level <laughs> yeah. right and I, I even I had a question I was, but I loved her you know she did other things but right. she was just like don't do that so I mean it happens and I could I could deal with it 
I can, I can do Damn. other things. But no oral sex is a lesbian. Yeah. That's like, That's, what do you, no, we have no, we have lots of other, yeah. or uh, yes. hamburgers at the barbecue. Yeah. And no barbecue sauce. Like, <laughs> and we have yes. corn and coleslaw. Like, it's a fucking <laughs> right, right. This is kind of barbecue. This ain't no barbecue, oh nigga. Off of me. Like, I loved her enough that that didn't matter. So. See, so I had one like that. What? It, that I mean, it didn't matter. <laughs> Can you? But we were already years. We are friends. We are friends. I've I've dated um, <laughs> one person like that, but she wasn't a friend. But yeah, no, it doesn't work for me. I end up taking over anyway. So it, 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 it it's not gonna happen. But my whole thing is that, that that's more asexuality. Like I can't be with somebody who's not sexually open or sexually fluid with me. Like I can understand there's limitations, but if there's nothing at all, then what's the point? Right. You know, I I, I can have more fun. Yeah, that's your homegirl. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah, exactly. I'm watching TV yeah, yeah. with my little bunny. Like, I don't <laughs> mean, like for real. Like honestly, like if you're if you have, and I understand this. People go through traumatic experiences right. and it sure. makes it difficult, but Absolutely. then you should take action upon yourself to be proactive and kind of work on it so that you can have a healthier sex life. It doesn't okay. mean that the other person has to sacrifice their yep. wants and needs because you're not ready to it's address just, your Thank you. Issues. Drop it down. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And that's how you analyze behavior. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Battle, she be earning her check. <laughs> Brandy. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> and nah, personally for me, it, it wouldn't work because I, I need to have full access. <laughs> it's just, yep. I, I need to be able to do all the things that I want to do. You know, sexually, I don't need the restrictions. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, you might as well, like you say, you might. That's then that's just your friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then you're you're a celibate person. Exactly. And I'm not, so that's not gonna it's not gonna work. You know, it's different from if you just wanna. Take a break or something like that. Mm -hmm. Get your spirit right or some shit. <laughs> right. Oh, no. yeah, the, 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 yeah, the journey or something. For like 100 that. days, the yeah, key charm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but nah, just if that's your whole thing, I think that, yeah, you have to go on counseling and, and, and understand. Right. You know, because it's just not, that's not, that's not normal. So you have to get to the bottom of those issues because yeah. whoever you're going to be with, they going to want to fuck Something you. Something under. <laughs> Whoever you gonna yes. be with, they wanna fuck you. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Well, it's right. There's, Real a, loop. Talk. There's a loophole the that loophole? I know every lesbian has come across. Dating a straight girl that's been with a girl for the first time. I don't think so. Well, then, well no, no. I, come on. Come, growing up, once you never. came out, whatever, you never... Come on. I swear to God. You I, never turned nobody I, I like how she swear to God like this. No, no, no. no, no, no my wavelength doesn't permeate straight. I was just talking about this other day in my shop. Real life. Like, I have always had this idea that I don't want to be somebody's... uh experiment you. or you know no, anything no, like okay. that i like a lesbian okay mm -hmm. really? Girl, like, experiments yeah. are fun yeah, yeah, yeah. I know like growing up when you first come out yeah. Yeah. come on you're high school i didn't yeah. come out in high school hey, well, I, I know what you're saying sure. but i, I don't think that none of them that's that shouldn't continue mm -hmm. it's one thing oh, no, no, no. it's one thing when you right. just get into no. it when you're ready yeah, yeah, to exactly. yeah. yeah. or something or totally agree. whatever so. i just said that's a loophole that at least one lesbian has encountered throughout their life of coming out but you're going to come out of that eventually of course. You don't, oh yeah if you don't, in terms of relationship not, if you don't you're straight you're not really yeah. about this life yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> it couldn't be it couldn't stupid. be it couldn't no. be it's like if you a straight woman that don't want to fuck your husband it's like, right. what kind of shit is that? He's gonna leave you. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Check out this. Don't right. leave right. your ass, <laughs> Stacy. I think there are a few things. Um, first, like with uh, Uzo's friend, I think that it it would make it too real for them. Like, if you allow that person to touch you in those ways, make it'll you. make it too real. That's like a man, like two men. You know, I'd let you, you know give me a blowjob, but yeah, I wouldn't do it to you. Right. So technically, I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. I think it's yeah. kind of like it's a that. denial. It's a denial. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, of course, you know, there's some kind of, like, blockage, uh, some emotional stuff, like you mm -hmm. guys have mentioned. And maybe they just haven't uh, encountered, you know, the right person, the sexual, you know, that sexual connection. Because I know, like, with, yeah, with certain people, uh, I didn't like certain ways that they touched me. It just annoyed me, you know? 
So it's just bad sex. I <laughs> no, I'm like, is that bad? Bad? no, but oh my God. seriously, was it the touch or was sex. it something you were feeling or was it the touch of the person? I don't have baggage like that. I don't, okay. I'm not emotionally like screwed like that. Okay. I'm, I'm cool. Damn, emotionally yeah. screwed. So it was the other. It was bad sex. So it was just bad. But sex. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't necessarily bad. Saying, it wasn't no. necessarily bad. Like let's take for example, like your breasts. Not everyone likes their breasts to be touched. Right. And okay. certain people. It's like, okay, dude, like, that feels like something's crawling on me or, like, yeah. you know, something. You're just not into it. Right, right. right. You know, like, so don't do that. Yeah. Like, do something That's else, but thing. don't do that. You know, so it's just... Yeah, yeah there's That's some true. women who think that, oh, it worked for that last girlfriend, so it's exactly. amazing right. for right. everybody. Exactly. exactly, But that's yeah. why you have to kind of learn each other because, you know, right. whatever you, you like and the person that you were with before, you kind of had this thing going and right. then you go into the next one, you're going to do the same thing. Right, exactly. Unless the other one just says, oh, you know, I really don't want to do that. You right. Know? Right. Yeah. right, it's about conversation also. Mm-hmm. So next question. If your new girl still did everything for her ex, but there's no romantic feelings, would you be okay with that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, like giving her a ride, ride picking her up from work. I don't know. Buy <laughs> money at work. work. That's crazy. So would you be okay with that? No. no. Damn. <laughs> Why not? I'm pretty a pretty laid back person, but no. Because what the fuck? Where am I? I need to get picked up from work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking a but- I'm over here like, baby. You're like, we I'm at home. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Exactly. No. Okay. The line, no, bitch. It's over. <laughs> so what if, no. Like, exes are exes who I'm dating now. But there's no romantic dating. feelings. You're just like, no, you know. No, 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 no. no. But, 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 no, because it okay. no. because if, if they if your ex, romantic or not, comes before me, that's a problem. It can't. What if it's equal? No, it shouldn't, it shouldn't even it should be equal. equal. Well, you said, I was just no. asking. You said before me, so I'm like, that ex no. still trying to wield that Thank power you out of you exactly. under your thumb. Me, no, no. no. Just like on a, what was that? Exactly. Like, uh, like a, hell no. If you ain't doing that shit. You can still be that. friends with your ex, but there's a certain <laughs> level of respect. Uh, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-mm. Running errands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused at the question. <laughs> Yo, wrong. People live it wrong in these streets. <laughs> that shouldn't even be like. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? That's so, crazy. Uh, well, yeah. definitely no, for sure. Um, but it's also no, like the time frame of when they were friends. Like if they just became exes, I'm not okay with just you, you guys being friends right now because you have to get over each other. What's so, a year later? So let's say it's a year later. Okay. Uh, no, you cannot just go running around picking up stuff and you can. Be there for them every, every now and then. Now, now and then. How, how often is now and then? <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that. Yeah. 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 if it's like, it, I mean, like if they're best friends. friends like, you know, because my wife, it's best friends with her friend, right. with her ex, actually. And, uh, but I, I, the funny thing is I knew her, her ex, uh, before I met my wife. So I kind of, and it, it's been a long time. So mm-hmm. that I can deal with and it's fine. And, um, but, you know... No, the answer is yes. it's no. <laughs> exactly. It's no. Yeah. So, um, behavioral analysis, a- analyst, because I can't get it right. No. 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 Why not? No. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Yes. Okay. 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 I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. I only speak American. I do not. <laughs> There's a lot of things that can be done every month, and you can go ahead and take that time that you're going to Thank help you. her pick up some groceries and go fix the molding, paint a little bit over here. Well, she needed some duct tape. Like, what the fuck? I'm saying, why are you running around doing somebody else all the time? It's not okay with me. Like, if she has an emergency, okay, fine. I'll even come and help with anything. Right. <laughs> oh. oh, that's He's a good role, though. That's She's a good she has to be dying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, She's going to monitor. She has to be dying. Or somebody near death. <laughs> near yeah, death. There has to be a near death scenario or something for me to be somewhat okay with that. And I will help. I'll go. I'll try. Do <laughs> <laughs> not live depressed. Mm-hmm. Brandy? This is hilarious. Well, I should definitely be the priority. You know, but Thank you. I have allowed for friendships, you know, with exes. You know, if I feel like there ain't nothing going on and I could see y'all vibe and I could kind of tell like shit is over and, and done, you know. I just trust my instincts as far as that's concerned, you know. Mm. Uh, but just every little thing, nah, of course not. Like three, no, four times a week, is that too nah, many? Nah, nah, yeah, hell, are you yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Girl, you need to be focused on you girl. girl, three, four yeah. times a month. I'm not you're not you're you're right. Right. Yeah. 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 You you have to be all focused on Thank the current situation. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not, then... Maybe y'all got unresolved issues that y'all yeah. need to work mm-hmm. out. Exactly. And I'll, I will bring that up. Like, you know, do you, do you need to, you y'all need still to... got some shit to handle or what, you know? Nah, man, I'm but, gonna work. You know, I, I'm cool with it know. being friends, but 
No, nah, not 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 too much. Um, yeah, friends it's, it's, not, to me, that's a level of disrespect that it hits at a certain spot. Stacy, <laughs> your face is so made up. <laughs> <laughs> um, the way you ask the question, um, it sounds like they're still like in a relationship, mm-hmm. so it just sounds a little more platonic. What if they have? What if they have a new boyfriend? Well, then that's even more disrespectful. You should be <laughs> counting on that person to be there for you. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so I feel like you can be friends with your exes. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not really friends with exes. Um, but if you are, then, you know, your current relationship definitely takes priorities. And maybe yeah. your relationship doesn't exactly need that because your your partner is independent and they can drive themselves. They can, you know, do their own grocery shopping and whatnot. But you still have to, like Savannah was saying, there there's a line. I mean, I can do this for you, but at some point, it just looks bad. Mm-hmm. You know, so just a level uh, of respect. Yep. Too yeah. Much. yeah, I wrote that question. A friend of mine was like, <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine was like, what? That's not normal? I'm like, no, bitch. No, 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 no. I was no, like, no. I was like, when you get a new girl, this is not going to work. Yeah, like, yeah. period. At yeah. all. At all. Right. But yeah, I just, you know, it's one of those times where you have a conversation with you just look at the whole time like, what? <laughs> like, the whole time. Yeah, right. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. All right. So, we're going to end on a positive note. Somebody has just got their first girlfriend, and they're trying to make their Valentine's Day special. So, they wanted to know, what's the best gift you've ever received from a partner? Uzo? Come back to me. Ooh. Okay. okay. I have to think about it. I'm going to start to my right. Thank you. Um, yeah. Best gift. Best gift for Valentine's Day? Or just a best gift in general? Um, damn. No, I don't know. Well, I know. One, okay. One of my exes wrote like a whole big poem and put it on like a little pretty like card, a huge card, um, and actually read it, and that was really sweet. I really liked that for because I'm not a big Valentine's Day person, but that was really sweet to me because it was actually dark. So, oh, okay. yeah. Brandy, I really can't remember. I'm not <laughs> too big on gifts, any particular holidays like that. So, or just the best gift in general. Probably like a, well, you said Valentine's Day, right? Well, she's trying to make it special, but her question was, what's the best gift you've ever received from a partner? Probably like the whole, like, uh, 12 days of Christmas type of thing. <laughs> oh. like, I thought that was kind of, like, romantic and creative. You know, so was it a sexual they, 12 days they of Christmas? Do, uh, <laughs> they they romantic no probably, 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 probably days, more right? than 12 days, <laughs> you know. But uh, maybe just what I, I think is... The best things are things that are very thoughtful mm-hmm. and creative and things that just show that you pay attention to yes. the, your partner's likes. Mm-hmm. It may not be yeah. expensive. It may not be typical. Mm-hmm. But just I think the best thing is, is to do something extremely thoughtful and that shows that you pay attention to the person that they are. Mm-hmm. Stacy, best gift you've ever received. Oh, that. Yes, that's it. <laughs> She's like, I like that. Um, <laughs> I would say the simplest gift uh, was the message in a bottle. I thought that was super cute, and the message was actually something that you know they wrote themselves. That's but nice. I mean, apart from that, um, I'm a real laid back, like relaxed, love to eat kind of person. So just a nice trip somewhere, somewhere very um, quiet, very clean and somewhat upscale and just eating good food. That went from simple to upscale and clean <laughs> yeah. and good food. That sounds that sound like it went from like $50 to $500. Like no, quick. but I don't want to be in like a Motel 6. I want to be in something kind of like, you know, the like Yellow Canary or Santa Barbara or something. You don't know, take something. her to the Motel 6. She's not having it. Okay. Yeah, right. Aisha? Uh, I'll put you back on Kane. Just the um, thoughtfulness of things. I've had, you know, women cook for me and I love that. Had women buy me like uh, industrial size pack of fruit roll ups. I love fruit roll ups <laughs> <laughs> and pickles and stuff Just like that. Um, I've had women like 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 I've had a woman, uh, you know, cook uh, dinner for me with the with the um, what is that the, the apron with the ass out and the palms <laughs> and then do the dance and the, so stuff like that. I like like little. So I don't need much. You know, we can do that at the house or a little. Yeah, yeah. I like that. But the idea that you know I like fruit roll ups and ass is that works. Like, (laughs) thank you. I didn't need much, you know. So uh, keep it simple. Keep it thoughtful. Um, Oh, and artwork. I've had someone make make me artwork. That was great. I'm an artist myself. So yeah, 
Like okay. shit from the heart for sure. Fruit roll ups, ass and art. Roll-ups. Okay, uh, yeah. 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 So, um, I've had people give me material gifts, which are nice, but it's more about the thoughtful gifts. Like I had this one girl make me dinner, and she made me like a sex dice game where you make the dice and it's nice. like lick it always comes back that. to sex with I, you but I mean that's Daddy. who I am <laughs> I mean, but do you hate it though I mean but, was, but because she put in the thought and she made she like printed my picture out and made a card and put that that's you could have bought a card like you know yeah. my shit is always I like that you know extra thoughtfulness so, uh, okay, yeah, I remember that. Uh, the best gift I ever got, I got was like a pack of underwear. It's like, it was, I shit you not. I'm not kidding. I, I shit you not. I shit you not. No, no, it was like, I, I wanted these underwears for a very long time. It was not expensive at all. But when I saw them, it was like amazing because it was it was just like what I wanted, mm-hmm. you know? And that, yeah, that just person about something. to you. Exactly. So a pack of underwear. That was the best <laughs> gift I ever got. That's awesome. I can't lie, that would not work for me. Um, <laughs> okay, I got my own drawers. Got a drawer full of drawers. <laughs> you done great. I know. Right. Even though I made fun of Stacey, I'm all about like a trip. Like I think like, you know, when you go, when somebody makes the time where I don't have to plan shit, because I'm always a planner. People call me, Aaron, where should I go to dinner? Aaron, where should I go to the movies? Aaron, where's the club? Aaron, where's this? I played everything for every motherfucking body. So if somebody says, Aaron, we're going here this day, I'm like, I have my bag. Where the fuck we going? Like, I don't even care. You don't have to have a plan. You can just be like, we're going to eat. I'm like, cool. Is it good? Cool. I'm there. Like, <laughs> somebody take the time to plan a trip, take me there. We go eat. We chill. That's, that's you know, usually the best is. Because, you know, you're making memories. You're spending time with that person. Because it's like they're giving you time and memories. You know, it's just the two of you. So that's usually the best thing for me. So those were our best gifts. Yep. Good so, luck. once again, thank you for joining us on this new episode of The Less Factor. If you have a question you want to submit, please submit it to info at thelessfactor.com or on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Thanks for... Thanks for... Thanks. 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 <laughs> thanks. Just thanks. thanks. What the... Thanks what for thanks, watching. What and thanks. Be sure that you share the episodes. We are trying to spread the word so that way we can keep this going for you guys. So make sure you share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram. You share us, we'll share you. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to play the villain. I'ma keep this egg, I keep the shit a million. Must admit we lost the love and feeling. Now you want that old thing back? Adios, bye bye, bye bye. Sayonara, we try. Arrivederci. Don't ask why, didn't mean to hurt ya. Bye bye, bye bye.